October is spooky season, and here in Georgia, nothing may be scarier than seeing one of these right over our shoulder mm -hmm. here. It's called a large invasive Joro spider. Atlanta News first reporter Joshua Skinner went to Gwinnett College today to learn about this bacteria that could one day help control the population of these things. In his biology two lab at Georgia Gwinnett College. Are you saying that there's 108 insects yeah. in there? Dr. James Russell dishes out bug knowledge. Homoptera hemiptera. Russell's PhD and expertise is a virus called Wolbachia. It's not a virus, it's a bacteria. Noted, and if you haven't heard of Wolbachia, get in line. It might be the most common bacteria on Earth, but almost exclusively affects bugs. And over the past four years, Russell and a small team have looked at its effects in the exploding Joro population. We, we didn't expect much. But what they did find could be significant. Male Joros that carry a double infection of Wolbachia can sterilize females if that female has a single or no infection at the time of mating. Russell's findings could prove important, potentially leading to a method of population control. There's a very successful uh, application of that on mosquitoes. We decided to look at the real thing. Well, some of the students said that they saw some Joro spiders uh, in among our apple trees, so. And it didn't take long. Oh, I see one. Yeah. Oh, no, two. These beefy arachnids hitched a ride on a ship more than a decade ago from East Asia. Now they're hitching themselves to homes and trees. It begs the question. When one of those gets on me and bites me, how many seconds do I have until I die? In reality, they're nearly harmless to humans. The best match for the ones that we have here are from uh, spiders that were collected and analyzed in China. Russell's research is ongoing and a solution still years away. So until then, keep an eye out for webs and be thankful that it's just a spider. Is, have you ever seen the movie Alien? Dealing with the heebie-jeebies, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.